Welcome back to the biggest, the baddest entertainment show in the 254, man. I hope you guys are enjoying the show. But in case you're just joining in, this is Grapevine. <laughs> Away from that, man, tonight we feature on our link-up segment the one and only Kenyan-born singer, songwriter, and a guitarist. I'm talking about Nick Agessa. Let's check it out. That's your problem. You can be me one more. Hi, my name is Nick Agessa. I'm a singer, songwriter, a pianist, and guitarist. And yeah, I'm here doing music. Okay, okay. Don't know, it's okay, let them see. Don't know, I don't know the baby. Keep dying on the daily. Uh, my style of music, I describe it as Afrocentric. It's a mix of Afro pop, Afro soul, RB, and uh, blues. I'm feeling your vibe. I'm feeling your sex. I'm a preacher's kid, so I, I started playing piano in church, and um, yeah, with that I, I was I was I was in the music in the, in the in the choir for so long. Even in high school, I was in choir. And uh, when I got done, when I was in uni, I started a band called Jazika, and uh, we did we did some few gigs here and there. And I I decided to start doing my own music. So that's that's basically my background in music. He's gonna stay. I started started playing with the band first, so from 2016 with the band. Yeah, but as a solo artist, I started in 2018. I will call you a pioneer. This year that I'm feeling so strong. You discover there's a heart here. Been empty, you know, for so long. Um, the journey has been, has, has had its ups and downs. But honestly, um, I really can't complain because um, I started off not really well, but I really got to find my niche. And um, I have my own audience who have their own money. So honestly, yeah, I feel like right now, I'm really growing, yeah. So be comfy and secure. In 2019, I did an, an East African tour. I went to Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. But I, I would say that my music really picked up in Rwanda because um, the people over there are very, very friendly. They, they enjoy art, you know, and they're very supportive. So I, I got to play for the commemoration of the genocide in Rwanda. It's called, it's called Ubumunu Festival. <laughs> I'm usually inspired by personal stories, things that have happened to me. I, I, my motto is love is key. There's a song called All Night. It has a really nice video, music video. Um, I released it in 20, I think 2020, yeah, during during COVID time. Uh, the, the reason why the song is personal to me, I got a bit naughty. I was a bit horny, <laughs> so I wrote I wrote this song. <laughs> yeah, it's called All Night. Um, and you know, during COVID times, it was really crazy, honestly, mostly for musicians, because we we never got we didn't get gigs. When COVID opened up, I started playing like on, on these online gigs, and I got the 100 million from part of the 100 million from, from, from the president, Uru Kenyatta, you know, yeah, the artist 100 million. But um, yeah, I would say All Night, All Night is, uh, is, is the best song that is already out there. To be a good songwriter, a good musician, it's all about growth. Because I, I didn't start knowing everything. I started in church, yes, but 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 getting out there, things are very different.
I, I created my own fans. Like the, the, the story is different for everyone. The journey is different for everyone. I started with um, just playing at random gigs and, and I also playing in school. So I got people from school in uni and, and, and these guys have known that I'm a musician all this time. Got on social media, started posting my own stuff and I got people from that side. And genuinely like just playing from gigs here and there, I, I really got to find people who loved my music, who would show up for my next show. And I, I would just say, if you want to grow, grow your audience, just start, as in there's no other way. You just need to perform, you need to get out there. Because there are people who will really love you for who you are.